Hey guys, Chip here. So today I want to talk a little bit about how you can use stable diffusion in a way that is like mid-journey. And what I'm talking about is the ability to use stable diffusion to create small images and then upsample them to much larger images, but keeping them roughly the same. So let's show you what I'm talking about. So this image right here is 960 by 512, and that's the image that I typically render in Stable Diffusion. This is the image as it comes out, and I've kind of enlarged it a little bit because what I want to show you, the artifacts here, let's zoom in on, you know, on this area right here. You know, you can see this little, this little thing. We don't know what that is and all this stuff. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you the upsampled version and you can see now we can start to see some things that are being basically refined and resed in and this is the full resolution of what we are working on so you can see that this is the original and then when we upsample it 2x we get this so let me show you how this is done so here we are in the automatic 1111 stable diffusion web UI and I'm over here text image I'm going to jump all the way over to ping info and I'm going to load that very first image that I had right so that's the this image right here and what it's going to do is this ping info is going to tell me what the parameters of this image were and so now that I know that I can jump over send to image before I do that let me just mention that also you can also go directly from here to image to image if you want if you like the rendering you're doing right here you can just click here and it'll do the same thing but I'm going to use an existing one a lot of times what I'll do is I'll batch maybe 64 of these or 128 of these and then I'll at that time review them and then drag them over into here and make sure that I get this parameter set up and then I can send them to image to image. And once you do that, it's going to send the the text here, but not the image. If you come from here, it'll send the image, but here it won't send the image. So you have to actually load that up yourself. But here's the seed. It gives you the seed, uh, the actual width and height and all that. So what you want to do is we want to go in here and we're just going to do the exact same thing is we're going to go in and we're just going to load up that image again and once we've done that now there's a couple settings we're going to need to set this one's real important the denoising strength is 0.2 if you go much higher even 0.3 it starts getting some kind of a foggy look to it so 0.2 works really well leave everything else the same here and then we need to go down into this area and what we're going to do is we're going to use the sd upscale feature and we're going to leave the faults here except we're going to do this ESR GAN 4X. I don't know how you pronounce that, so <laughs> that's the best I can do. And this will take a little bit, but what we'll do is we'll hit the generate button and let's just wait. And there we have it. We click on it. You can see this is the image and it looks pretty good. As I said, we have more detail over here. So I hope that's helpful for some of you. It's been great for me. Thanks for watching. We'll see you online.